Shut up and sit down. Hello, I'm Joe Cobb with Out of America, aka The Goat, and today you are with me for an adventurer cleaning the big one, as I call it. You know, maintenance Monday, you know, got something special for you. Uh, I'm going to show you how to clean it, so. Boom. Step one. This is what we're going to do. We're going to get a vacuum cleaner. You know, clean out all the previous excess dust from the first bill that was, well, the previous bill before that. You're going to be extremely careful at the same time, but you're going to clean off all, all the, all the excess dust. Everywhere on the surfaces, you know, get it right down good, you know. Another important thing is. You gotta be extremely careful because the printer runs off on heat and light. And if it's too much dust in the area, it could like corrupt the whole thing. So, yeah. Slightly move the print carriage. You know, get everything underneath there. Print head gasket, you know, getting around it. Paint carriage moves side to side, so you know, get everything around it, underneath it, you know. It needs to be in a in a very neutral spot so I can clean the bottom of it. As you can see, I'm going underneath, getting all the excess dust. Like everything else in the printer, you know, dust can get on the fusing lamps which is located underneath the printer carriage. And it's also important to clean the lamps because leftover powder can bake onto the glass. Here we go. We're gonna remove the top enclosure filters. These filters are responsible for the hot air inside the printer. It's also important to, to keep these filters clean because without proper maintenance, the printer will not regulate proper temperature inside the printer. Slowly take that out. Ah, the fun part, the fun part guys, it's the fun part. What we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the filter, we're gonna turn it upside down, we're gonna shake it out gently, slowly, get it all out, all the excess powder and stuff. You know, just lodge all, you know, just lodging everything. All done. All right, here we are. You know, we're just gonna slide them back in. All nice and pretty. You know, we're going to screw them back on top, you know, screw everything back in place. You know, just two small screws on each one of them. Easy to screw in, easy to screw out. Here we are. This is my favorite part. We're going to go underneath the print carriage. We're going to scrape off all the excess dust, off the, all the burnt dust off the glass, you know, before any other build is being made. Nice and gently. I'm gonna take your time with this. And be extremely careful cleaning these. And extremely careful around the print heads. 
cannot interfere with them. Getting all that residue off. Getting all the residue off. Now next we're gonna we're gonna grab a microfiber cloth. We're gonna grab some alcohol. We're gonna spray it up there. Just clean out all you know the excess scraping and stuff. Make it nice and shiny and clean for the next build. Excuse the nose. <laughs> I crap myself up. All done. Here we are. We're going to move on to the spittoon. Probably the easiest thing to move in the printer. Just a click. Boom. It's out. Now y'all see all that black stuff on top of it. We're going to go clean it off. Called an agent from the printer, from the last, you know, previous job, you know, the previous bill. I'm gonna clean that off with hot water. It doesn't take very long, but a good 30 seconds, 30, 45 seconds. Make sure everything is dry on the spittoon before putting it back in. I'm gonna place it back in. Click, click, boom, brand new. You know, last but not least, we got the printer head gasket. You know, you gotta be very gentle with these too. This is this is where the this is where the print carriage is located on top of. So this is what's underneath it. Um, you gotta make sure everything is out. You know, the excess dust from on top of them. You know. They have to be clean to operate it. Know. We're gonna slightly push back the carriage over the top again. We're gonna put a new build in, you know, a new unit. And we're gonna close the door. And we're gonna close the top. Boom. We're done. <laughs> All right, I'm done, guys. You know. Man, this Mondays. The deed is done. We all go. Shut up and sit down.